guys welcome back this is ron jordan over at rj lang sales coming at you with a FLIR thermal studio pro uh, demonstration and tutorial on uh, how to use the live mode with the FLIR e95 let's jump into it so what i have set up here is the FLIR e95 with the 24 degree lens i have that set up in live mode in FLIR, St FLIR thermal studio pro uh, and how I've done that is I connect, connected the C input with, uh, with my computer. You can do it via USB as well. Uh, all of those cables come with your camera. Once you have it set up, you will see a little lightning bolt on here. You'll click the lightning bolt. It'll wait for camera and then it'll connect. Once it's connected, you can just about do everything that you would in editing mode. Uh, one thing that I did notice is we are not able to create a delta in here. Um, so that's something interesting that I have to get some clarification on. But what you can do and, and where I've seen I've used this the most is time lapse studies on uh, MCC cabinets, pad mount transformers, things like that, um, where, where things can stay open for a little while. Um, the other one is mostly for demonstration purposes. I use this quite a bit in classroom settings um, for to teach the principles of infrared radiation and what we're actually measuring here. Uh, this simple picture goes over a lot of the standard key terms like reflectivity, uh, transmissivity, emissivity, all of that is pictured with these three simple targets. Um, with that aluminum foil background uh, wrapped around the box so that gives you your true reflective temperature. Uh, you got your cold water, your hot water, showing the difference uh, in, in thermal capacity uh, of those two, or not thermal capacity, but rather um, thermal radiation of those two, the intensity of, of one versus the other. Uh, and that's really what we're measuring here is trying to figure out the infrared radiation intensity, and that's then dictated into a number which is our temperature through that Stefan Boltzmann law. Um, so what that, in those three simple targets that you see there, that's really what we're getting at is, is some profound introduction to FLIR infrared uh, and, and infrared technology in general. <clears throat> to start recording, you go over here, click start recording live stream, and now you're recording. Now that is, this is a CSQ file. I have that set up as such in my camera. Uh, you can set it up as just an MPEG. I don't know why you would do that other than to save memory. Um, but radiometric video is that CSQ file. So make sure that's what you're setting up if you're using this for work purposes or you wanna, I don't know, use it later on, be able to drop temp points. Uh, for demo purposes, I like to use the ellipse tool to show the difference here. I like to create duplicate. So we have the same size on both. And then I also like to do that reflected temperature of the of the of the uh, cups of the targets. I like how it's a little sheep too, by the way. Whenever you create the duplicate, it's a sheep. We're cloning sheep. Anyhow. Um, so you can see right over here all those true temperature points. Now this this has seemed to be pretty steady as this one's cooling down or possibly warming up rather it's a little more excited we can see those temperatures ellipse one yeah it's warming up so th those would be a little more excited and this is pretty stable um, but you can show what those temperatures are inside you know 56.2 and the reflected temperature uh, a box one, 93. So your obvious influence is this hotter, more intense infrared radiation. Um, but again, this is how you do your live mode. Uh, you, you set it up on the camera. Uh, you have you don't have to do anything in the camera other than turn it on and connect into it through the USB or the C input. Uh, you come in here. You can also for demo purposes, I like to use brighter colors. It seems to make people happier. And uh, you come down here, click record. You can drop some temp points. So just go here, add measurements. You can use our 
our awesome magic wand tool as well love that um, lots of different options but for demo purposes typically in the live mode you're gonna drop a couple boxes show them the difference in temperature and how how you can how you can see that live on the right hand side all right guys thanks a lot make sure you like share subscribe to the videos uh, give us a like on LinkedIn um, and subscribe to this to our YouTube channel for up-to-date information on FLIR cameras uh, how to use them some simple tips and tricks best practices um, and then also how to use FLIR Thermal Studio Pro uh, we've been going over a lot of these and um, I'm hoping it's helping you guys navigate I know whenever I started using it there was really not much out there until ITC came through and they did a full-blown training and ever since then um, I'm, I was able to get what I needed uh, from them to get started and then really pushed it forward on my own but uh, if you have not taken it go take that ITC training uh, I'll link to the description or I'll link to it in the description below um, check it out it's quick I mean it's less than an hour I believe and if you're using FLIR Thermal Studio Pro um, definitely jump on that and check us out on langsales.com we have our online store open also tutorial videos on there and also other companies that we represent at RJ Lang Sales thank you guys have a great day bye